Today, I'm excited to talk about environments that cause tinnitus. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Emily. I created Definite Hearing as a way to increase awareness for the deaf and hard of hearing. I am hard of hearing myself. I was diagnosed with my moderate to severe sensory neural hearing loss at birth. I've been wearing hearing aids since I was four months old. I love them so, so, so much. People are usually surprised to learn that I have a hearing loss and they are curious as to how severe my hearing loss is. To give you a gauge, my hearing loss is 65 to 80 decibels, which means I don't start hearing until the sound of a vacuum cleaner. That's pretty loud. So I can still like be aware of sounds that are happening, but I can't understand what they are unless I put my hearing aids in. Hearing aids aren't a one size fits all solution, but they are great. If you wanna get a good idea of how my hearing is, next time you're in the bathtub or the pool, submerge your ears below the water. That is similar to what my hearing loss is like without my hearing aids in. It's difficult to understand what I'm hearing. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to talk about different environments that cause tinnitus. I hope you stick around to the end of this video because if you do, I'm going to address the sad news of the passing of Kent Taylor. Kent Taylor is the CEO of Texas Roadhouse and he recently committed suicide due to side effects of coronavirus. One of those side effects was tinnitus. All right, so for this video, I broke down different environments into three different sections, work, home, and entertainment. Let's talk about work environments. Tinnitus is an interesting medical condition. It is typically comorbid or found in existence with people that have hearing loss. Hearing loss and tinnitus seem to come together. But in Kent Taylor's case, he didn't have hearing loss at that point. He had coronavirus and he had healed and tinnitus was a lingering factor of that. Tinnitus is buzzing or ringing in the ears and it is incredibly disabling for those people that have to deal with this. It's like that frequency when it won't stop Stop, it drives you crazy and it's very, very annoying and it really can drastically impact mental, physical, and emotional health. So it's important to be aware of what tinnitus is and where it can be found, these environments, so that you can be aware that you may be susceptible to tinnitus and what you can do to really properly care for that. Do I have tinnitus? I don't classify myself as having tinnitus. I have had little phases where like ringing, so it sounds like it comes and goes, but it's very infrequent. It's very rare. And I wanna start paying attention to when that happens so that I can talk more about that. All right, so environments that can cause tinnitus with work. If you work in any sort of military branch around weapons, planes, loud machinery and manufacturing plant, or even humming machines and servers in a tech industry. Loud noise is a huge reason for tinnitus. Loud noises can be found in all sorts of work environments. Consider your work environment. Where do you work? Do you have loud noises at your work? If so, I would love to hear about them in the comments below. The next set of loud environment possibilities is in the home. The TV could be a huge culprit, especially if you're having difficulty hearing. You're tempted to turn the volume up. When you turn that volume up, yes, you can hear more, but it can damage the hearing of other people in the room that have better ears. So it's important to look for other solutions like closed captioning to understand what you are hearing. Other causes of loud environments in the home could be blenders. All growing up, if my family wanted to use a blender, my dad would require that they used it in the garage to protect hearing. So it's important to be mindful full of blenders and consider wearing ear protection when you turn on loud appliances. And another cause of loud environments in the home could also be lawn equipment. This could be a mower, a blower, and other machinery. Last but not least is the entertainment environment. Wow, we love being entertained by loud sound. I went to an Imagine Dragons concert when I was in high school. It was outside and it was the best concert ever. Let me tell you, I was so tired the next day and it was so amazing and we had so much fun. But concerts can be a dangerous environment for your hearing. So know where you're going and be aware of your hearing. Ensure to preserve that because if you love hearing to your favorite band or musician or listening to your favorite theatrical production, it is best to take precautions and protect your hearing 
rather than, you know, miss out and lose your hearing for a while. So those are loud and noisy environments that can trigger tinnitus and or hearing loss. Do you have tinnitus? Have you ever experienced it in these environments? I would love to hear some comments in the comment below. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. I want to talk about something that's extremely, extremely important. And that is the fact that tinnitus in fact can be very debilitating to those that have tinnitus. And I think the hardest part is that other people just don't understand how bad it is. The CEO of Texas Roadhouse, as I mentioned earlier in this video, Kent Taylor, committed suicide and one of the side effects of his battle with coronavirus that lingered was tinnitus. This tinnitus eventually drove him to the brink and he ultimately took his own life. It makes me so sad to think that someone so charitable could end their own life because they were so miserable. There's things we just don't understand. I believe that he is happy in heaven with God and that he will be happy. The reason I'm talking about this is because tinnitus can be so debilitating. It can drive people to do things that they would not normally do. Humans are wired to survive and when you are dealing with something, whether it's mental health or tinnitus, that drives you to your brink, oh, it's not normal. Seek help, seek help, talk to the doctors, see what options are available and reach out. You know, it may not solve the problems, it may not help, but you can do your best and know that you are loved. And if you're struggling with tinnitus, I believe in you, I believe in you. It's gonna be so miserable. I have so much compassion for you and just keep pressing forward. I'm going to include a link to the National Hotline for Suicide Prevention in the comments below. If you're struggling with suicide, please, 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 for whatever reason, do not hesitate to reach out for help. You can contact that National Prevention Line or contact friends and family. I do want to highlight though some amazing things that Ken Taylor did while he was alive. He was a track star at University of North Carolina. I thought that was so neat. He had to pitch his business, Texas Roadhouse, to over 45 investors before a local cardiologist finally decided to invest in him. He did not give up. He even pitched his idea of Texas Roadhouse to Larry Bird, who also turned down the idea. In the beginning of coronavirus, Kent Taylor donated his $1 million bonus and an additional $5 million to the Texas Roadhouse frontline workers. He was a charitable person. He tried to do good. And so I just wanna highlight that and leave that positive note so we can remember him in that great light. My thoughts and prayers go out to the Taylor family. They have since announced that in his memory, they will fund a clinical study for military personnel that are dealing with tinnitus. I look forward to seeing that move forward. So if you are dealing with tinnitus, please do not hesitate to reach out to your doctor to your loved ones, to your friends and family, and get the help you need. There is no shame in getting help. And I just want to say there is power in knowing you are not alone. Though I don't deal with tinnitus as constantly and as presently as maybe you do or someone you know does, I know people who do. You are not alone. Thank you for watching this video today. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you know someone that could benefit from this video, please, please share it. I want to increase awareness for the deaf and hard of hearing and you can help me do that. Please remember to stay strong and stay amazing. Have a wonderful day.